All right, uh, live shot from Port Angeles. We'll check back with uh, Stephen Andrew in just a minute. Shot of the coho. Uh, maybe some hope tonight uh, in sports. My. Yeah, if there's ever been a, a glimmer of optimism tonight, is it, Hudson? Is it time for change? Or will the lingering lockout be the NHL's agenda moving forward? On election night in the USA, the NHL and the NHL Players Association are meeting in a secret location in New York City, once again trying to hammer out a new collective bargaining agreement and save this NHL season. They're still talking late into the night, and 13 players, including Sidney Crosby, flew to NYC to be part of the meetings. Well, obviously, before we have any agreement, both sides have to see everything on paper and make sure that they all understand it right. But that's about all I can say about it at this stage. I don't want to prejudge or, or uh, uh, indicate that I have any particular impressions or expectations. That's what the meetings are for. The player's view has always been that we ought to keep negotiating until we find a way to, to, to get an agreement. It's very good to be getting back to the table, and we hope that this time it produces more progress than we have in, uh, seen in the past, and we can figure out a way to make an agreement and to uh, get the game back on the ice as soon as possible. Here's a group of hockey players that are putting in plenty of time on the ice. This before they go to work or school. I guess while most of us were still cozy in our beds, Captain Bodie Coulter and his Victoria Cougars were on the ice at 6 a.m. for practice. Yes, we're talking about practice. And if practice makes perfect, then the Cougars are proof. The defending VIJHL champs haven't lost a game in regulation all year and sport an 18-0-1 record. But with wins comes expectations. And Coach Mark Van Helvoort says there's still room for improvement on his team. One of our main focuses is, is to continue to work on our individual skill, our team systems, and then just uh, you know, our team building and our team unity. So those are the three areas that we've, we started out the season with the, with the, um, with the point to, to continue on to focus on, these, on those areas, and you know, that's what we're, uh, we're focused on right now. Practices have been good. We're still pushing ourselves to get better. And uh, right now, uh, we're on top of the league, and that's where we want to be coming into the year. The Victoria Cougars came very close to hoisting the Cyclone Taylor Cup at the end of last year, but lost the double overtime heartbreaker to Abbotsford in the gold medal game. Half of the players on this squad played in the BC final, and the veterans are prepared to do whatever it takes to get back to the championship game. You know, a lot of guys have been here before, some good veterans, and some young guys that are, that are buying into what we do, and that's what we need. And uh, we got a good group, we gel well. Uh, I'm a leader this year, I'm 20, so uh, I'm just kind of helping the younger guys in practice, uh, pushing them in practice. Uh, yeah, just bringing my work ethic and showing them how it's done. You know, it's probably one of the strengths of this group is our leadership group, and we've got a handful of guys here that have you know, been at the team for a couple of years now and been in some pretty important games. So, you know, at this point, uh, you know, we're pretty happy with, with the start. And again, like I said, we just want to make sure we continue to focus on improving over the course of the season. Well, the next time to see the Cougars in action will be Thursday at 7 p.m. They host the Cary Park Islanders at Archie Browning Sports Center. It's military night, so all military personnel who show up to the game with valid military identification will be admitted free of charge. Well, the average golfer may have taken one look at this afternoon's downpour and decided that the clubs can just stay in the garage for the day. But there's nothing average about the field playing in the Vancouver Island Pro Tour. Yeah, you have to be pretty decent to play in these conditions, and deep in the soup is one of the top young golf talents in the country. Victoria's Corey Renfrew is fresh off his rookie season on the Canadian Tour and made a name for himself in his very first tournament. Renfrew wowed the crowd at Uplands at the TC Island Savings Open in June, settling for a second-place finish. A few weeks later, he'd win the Sincrude Boreal Tournament in Fort McMurray. That wasn't all. Renfrew qualified to play at the PGA's Canadian Open, missed the cut by a single stroke. He finished third on the Canadian Tour money list. Now that he's had a little taste of success, Renfrew is wanting just a little bit more. You know, there's always a big ladder you try and climb to get to the, the PGA Tour. And, um, you know, I'm in a spot right now where I can, you know, obviously build on that and kind of keep growing and learning and, uh, you know, see if I can just kind of take steps to get to each, each next level and... Uh, I'm definitely, I'm having fun doing it, for sure. Well, Renfrew won't have to worry about soggy conditions for much longer. He's headed to Arizona in a few weeks to give the All-American Pro Tour a shot. That tour season runs from November 
to February. The Canadian Soccer Association has commenced its rebuild with the men's senior national team. Former Portuguese international Tony Fonseca has been named technical director of the senior side. He brings coaching experience from Canada's U20 and U23 teams. The CSA still has to appoint a head coach in the wake of Stephen Hart's resignation last month. Well, finally tonight, we bring you way up to the top of Burnaby Mountain, where the Simon Fraser clan are preparing to breathe the rare, refined air of an NCAA championship. SFU plays NCAA Div 2, and thanks to their 12-1-1 record in conference play, they're off to the Division II National Championships in California. Simon Fraser isn't without their island flavor, as former VIU coach Jamie Merriman is calling the shots as an assistant coach. Stopping the shots is the task of Victoria's Hadi Ozawa in his fifth and final season. It's just insane. Like I can't believe uh, that we've actually made it to nationals and we've gone through this process since 2008 where we've gone through transition years and we haven't been able to compete in postseasons and stuff Why? like that. So now that we're eligible and we're there, I think everyone definitely wants to make their presence felt. He's from Victoria. Uh, I've known him for, from before. He's grew up with the Victoria United crew. Um, so it, it's been good to have him here as well. And I think uh, it's his senior year, so he's excited. We are one of the top ranked teams in the nation. So uh, we're not looking just to, we're not satisfied with just going to the tournament. We want to win the tournament. And thanks to their top seed in the West region, SFU gets a first round bye. The final is set for December 2nd. Hide Ozawa, a Parklands kid, so mm -hmm. good for him. Well done. A little NC2A action for you. You betcha. Mm -hmm. My, thank you. You are welcome.